and welcome to my math channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make animation. So first let me create an ellipse to have the ball. Let's start with just random numbers. No. Let's do them all like that. I, don't, I really don't know actually what this will do. I guess it will create it like that. <laughs> okay, so why don't we move it a little that way? Then we move it a little down. A little down. And then we move it a little like fatter. But then a little taller. No, a little short like that. And then the, we just have to make this one a little bit more circly. Like that. Move it all the way to the left, as far as we can, at least. As far as we can. Let's just put it like that. And then you move it all the way down. So first, let's create a variable. Let's create a variable. VIR. X equals... Hmm. So, 73. Okay, so now that we've done that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna raise, we're gonna raise 73, and we'll put x in. So now we have 73 there. So if we move this, it'll move along on the screen because it's attached to x there. The next step, the next step is to do. Let I want to color the ball. So in order to color the ball, what we have to do is we press fill. And then let's make it a purple ball. I love purple. So let's put it down like that. I love purple, and that, so that's kind of like one of the best balls ever, except let's make it a little bit more like that. That's good. Okay, so next thing to make this thing get animating is to get animated. Yay! Animating, but how does this happen? Well, what we want to do is we want to create we want to put d draw equals and it'll fill all the rest in, in for you it says draw equals function blah 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 oh what's this oh that is cool all right okay so what we want to do now is we want to um, get work so our variable x equals 72 we'll leave out there but we'll copy these two which is most of the function and then we want to put it in there and now what we want to do is we want to we want to make it move right so how do we make this move well let me show you so we want to put x equals x plus one like that and look it's moving holy moly but there's a bit of a problem it's a little you know, look it's a little smeary why is it you know smearing, smearing around like that well it's drawing it again and again over itself so how do we fix this well let's do the background well what we have to do now is we have to do the background and we have to make that draw over the ball several times left off last time is that the ball was smeary so what we have to do is we're gonna make a background function but first I'm gonna reload this page Okay, so now I have reloaded this page, and now I will draw the background. So, let's do a background color, right? Background. Let's do background, and then let's color it. Let's color it. Well, actually, I want to X that. Put that. 
put it there and paste it again. Okay, so now what we want to do is so we'll fix this in a moment, but first we're gonna change the color, right? Let's make it white. Let's make it white. And then what we have to do is we just have to copy it. Go there. Um, and and paste. So where's the ellipse gone, right? Well, what we have to do is, all we have to do is, actually, we just have to move this up. So, watch. And now, it should appear in a second. But first, we have to change the variable. so now let's restart it and voila the ball is moving across the screen without any sort of you know you know sm smear so how is this happening well the the ball is being redrawn and redrawn again over the background and the background is redrawing and redrawing the ball o over the ball again so it's so quick what your eyes don't see is that the ball is actually disappearing for a moment every time see i can't really see it but looking looking at the pixely edges flash once in a while kind of gives it away so what happens if we put the background in front well we won't see the ball anymore because remember computers read code up to down so what if we want to make it like the ball is getting a bigger distance right why don't we why don't we oops restart the code okay so it looks like it's rolling why don't we change the width and stuff so what we want to do now is we want to start the code well actually Stop moving. Okay, so let's make it a little bit smaller so it kind of looks like it's going a longer distance. You know, for the little ball, for the little guy. Let's move it a little down. And then we can kind of around this a little bit from there then we press restart well actually no, no 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 we have to re put that there and there we go that little guy is just moving across the screen I'm just moving across the screen I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I hope it helped you learn how to animate um, things on Khan Academy and um, kind of have fun with coding and everything like that and before I go, I let you in at a little. I let you in on a little secret. So it's little secret time. Little secret is coding is fun, but for those of you, for people who don't like math this will be a surprise coding is math <laughs>